Makena Rose is my daughter. She was born here last year, September 12, 2015. She has a Canadian passport and a birth certificate that she was born here in Alberta. Even though Makena Rose born as a Canadian baby, she cannot get access to anything, including Medicare, because she was tied with my status. McKenna Rose Law is a campaign that uh, Migrante Alberta has started since we came across the situation of one of our members. I came here in Canada as temporary foreign worker, as a restaurant and bakery manager. My previous employer, I was I working hard, but because they are abusive and they discriminate the FW, so I resigned. If only the government see the, the, the treatment that they're giving to the TFW. Some employers are very abusive to temporary foreign workers because we are tied to one employer and we cannot find another employer easily. I give birth to McKenna Rose September 2015 and that time I'm waiting for my new work permit. So my healthcare was expired, so they charged me and my baby. They charged Makina under her name. After 10 months of waiting, my work permit was refused. All my documents like uh, work permit and the Alberta Immigrant Nominee Program was all expired. So that's why I got undocumented. McKenna Rose, my daughter, suffers a lot because she, even she she was born Canadian, she cannot get access to anything, including Medicare. She should have been entitled to, you know, social services, health care, um, education, any right inherent rights that a Canadian citizen should have. And so, unfortunately. Um, McKenna is considered as a second-class citizen. Uh, as a mother myself, I have two young girls and uh, I know that every time they get sick, whether it's just a, a minor fever or, or something more serious where you're looking at having to go to the doctor or even the hospital, those are very stressful times and you know, you're, you're trying to be focused on doing what you're, what's best for your child, uh, making sure that they get what they need to get healthy and uh, the thought of being unable to access those services because you're concerned about the cost of them or because of your immigration status, you're fearing deportation, all those kinds of things. I mean, that's just a dilemma that is really excruciating to imagine as a parent. Nobody should have to uh, be faced with those kinds of choices. We believe in Migrante Alberta that this is a direct violation of McKenna's uh, human rights. The UN Convention on the Rights of the Child, Article 24, which states that every child should have a right to social services, for example, education, uh, medical services. So she's. Canadian. She's born here and uh, her mother came here because we needed um, people to work here. When we see a situation where uh, one group of Canadians, these Canadian born children of, of non-status uh, workers, migrant workers, are not able to access the same services, don't have the same citizenship rights, um, that that really threatens the, the, the value of citizenship, the, the rights that come with it and all the, the um, the services that we uh, have fought to build here in Canada um, and that should be accessible for everybody. Canada is a land of opportunity that a fair treatment to all races are being given, but some are not. I'm just so worried about her future. I'm just worried about my baby. I don't want to beg for anything. I just want to fight for her right as a Canadian. <laughs> Just give the, just give everything that my baby should have. It's 
So we're asking for everyone who's watching this video, whether you're an individual, a part of an organization from different communities, we're asking for everyone's support and there's different things that they can do. They can either sign the petition or try to gather petitions, uh, sign the petition so that um, we can bring it to the uh, Alberta legislature. Um, we're also um, asking for their support to speak with their MLA Right? Call your MLA and bring this uh, matter to their attention. Right? Uh, um, Migrant is also trying to gather as many cases as possible that's similar to McKenna Burroughs. And we believe that she's not the only one that's experiencing this. So please get, get in touch with Migrant in Alberta so that we can work together to protect the rights of these uh, Canadian children. Canadian is a Canadian don't deny her right because she was tied with my status.